Hello, I'm Dan Fisher with Anthony Cole Training Group and welcome to the sales brew that asked the question, is there anything wrong with being number two? Can you imagine for a second Michael Jordan saying after not winning a championship, you know, I'm okay. Coming in runner up is okay with me. Heck no, that never would have happened, would it have? You know, although there's many similarities between selling and sports, being number two in selling really isn't that bad. But let me explain. I'm not talking about number two as the runner up on a deal. I'm talking about positioning yourself for when your prospect does have a problem that must be fixed, you'll be right there because now, now you're top of mind. If you have a prospect that you've always wanted to write, but now just isn't the right time, get yourself in that number two spot. How do you do that? By simply asking them this question. I'm curious, how would you suggest that I position myself so that when you're ready to move from your relationship, you automatically think of me first? When you get the answer you were looking for, here's some tips to consider. Number one, establish your credibility and learn everything you can about that prospect. A good way is to know and understand their supply chain. Their first impression is not about the product or the service that you sell, it's about you. Get better at you. Number two, be consistent with your communication by sending relevant information, I'd say at least once a month. When you get the opportunity to meet with them again, make that interaction a conversation, not an interrogation. Number three, stay in step with them. Know what changes are taking place within their company and know, know what their opportunities are. You know, times have really changed, including selling, haven't they? So put yourself in a position of being front and center when your number is called. And always remember, number two really isn't that bad. Hey, thanks for watching and make it a great day.